Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Nightbird Tarot and welcome to your September monthly tarot forecast with me. This is Brooke. Thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to receive automatic updates to any new videos that I do upload. And Leo, I'm going to be doing a five card reading for your September monthlies. I've already pre-shuffled, so let's just jump right in and see what's in store for Leo. I have not peeked. And why do I pre-shuffle? It saves time. And anyone new to my channel, I don't read the cards reversed. I'm one of the rare readers that you will see on YouTube that don't read the cards reversed. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have the lovers. So the lovers comes in for Leo. Lovers is very much about choice. Lovers is also very much about decisions, crossroads as well. There may be, for Leo, a certain choice, trial. This also could indicate a certain crossroads. This even could indicate a choice between two people. So the lovers card comes in initially giving Leo the opportunity in the month of September to either go perhaps two different ways, going down two different paths. There also could be two different choices. This doesn't necessarily have to be romantic either. So when I see the lover's card, it's very much about choice, very much about something that you're passionate about as well. When it comes to relationships, Leo, this card is a great indicator of great love and of great passion. Many times when this card appears, there could be a choice or a trial involved when it comes to more than one lover, more than one partner, or potential for love. So let's take a gander and see what's happening in the rest of the reading. In your theme for Leo, we see the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords comes in to initially say, what is it that is holding you in denial? So there's a position of being a stalemate in September in terms of perhaps looking at something. Perhaps being in denial about an actual person, being in, de in denial about an actual situation. There's much denial, but at the same time, you're keeping yourselves there, Leo, and not wanting to perhaps face a situation for what it is. It's feeling blindfolded, also feeling helpless, also feeling as if you don't really know what to say or what to do, and perhaps a challenge. This could be in the workplace. This could be in a relationship. This could be on the home front. There's a position of feeling stuck because of this resistance of looking at something for what it initially is. Okay, so that's in the theme for Leo. So there's something that definitely needs to be tackled and overcome in the month of September. Now, coming out of the most recent past energies, we see the Eight of Pentacles. This is traditionally known as the work card, Leo. So many of you may have started a new job. Many of you may be applying for new employment or new careers. Many of you may also be in the apprenticeship stage, whether this is through learning, whether this is through an internship, this also could be starting at the bottom in an entry-level position to learn a new skill. Something's very much focused upon work. Or perhaps wanting to transition into a different career. So this is coming out of the most past recent energy coming out of August. This may have been on the forefront of Leo's mind. And there may be something connected with work or with a choice involving money, work, career, then many of you may feel a bit stuck about or in denial about or even a bit of confusion about and not really sure what direction to go in. Going back to the lover's card, what choice should I make? Okay, something very connected to work. 
Now, the present energy, we have a court card, which is the Queen of Cups. This could be a potential water sign. This also could be or represent the mother. This could represent your mother in your life. This can represent mother figures. This could represent characteristics or attributes for Leo yourselves. The Queen of Cups is traditionally water sign female. I'm going to keep her gender-wise as female in this reading. Her attributes, however, are very much about compassion. She's very imaginative. She's very dreamy. She's also very psychic. But she can also come across as being a bit wishy-washy, uh, being a bit stuck in her head, overthinking as well. So she could represent Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be, for Leo, an actual person in your life. If in, in terms of having characteristics or attributes for males, this could also be indicative of that. So this also could represent someone who's also taking on the role of both mother and father in the family. So the Queen of Cups is here. So this could be an actual person represented for Leo. This could also be characteristics or attributes for Leo yourselves. Now in the challenge, we see the Four of Rods. I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck and Rods are the same as wands. The four of rods is, rods is very much about the home, very much about foundations, very much about stability. The challenge is there is something involving the home, the home environment. This also could be in terms of wanting to create or rebuild or restore an actual physical home, building a home restoring a home, selling a home, something to do with the future of foundation. So there's something very much connected to denial on the home front, something very much connected to denial perhaps when it comes to work and money. This queen may be a helper for Leo in the month of September. They may come in with creative solutions. They may come in with really great advice. They may come in and help Leo form or make a plan as well. So this person's also very intuitive. They're also not only intuitive, but they're almost as if they've been around the block. They're street smart as well. So there's a lot to do from this queen. I'm getting a lot of energy from this queen of cups energy. So the challenge has something to do on the home front for Leo. Something that's not being faced. Something that's not being discussed. Something that's not being or wanted to be talked about. Now, in the potential outcome for Leo, we have the seven of rods. This is very much a card of tackling on challenges. It's also a card of having a position of advantage as well. So there may be other people or situations for Leo in the month of September of having to tackle things head on, especially if you've let them go by the wayside or if there's been procrastination, if there's been a period that has lasted or has gone on too long where it should have been addressed and it hasn't been addressed. However that fits in for the Leos that are watching, however that fits into your life story at the moment for the month of September. Going back to the lover's card, there is a definite choice. Which pathway am I going to take? Which path or choice am I going to go down? But there's a position of, of advantage for Leo and whatever you decide to do. So here we see the King of Cups. So he's shown up. So there's a definite partnership for Leo in the month of September. The Four of Cups comes in to say it's a blessed union, but something is, is off. There's discontentment showing up. There's boredom. There's 
there's something that is preventing something to blossom or flower as much as it could. And we could go back to the two of swords energy, Leo. Some form of denial, some form of stalemate position when it comes to a major decision. And then we see the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is very much about new cycles, but it's also very much in terms of relationships, long, loyal, and steady. So the Ace of Pentacles, when it comes to relationships or romance, to me, very much indicates something long-term and something that's very much surrounding money or money is the focus or money is important. But there's a definite discontentment that's showing up in September that very much has to do with this denial situation on the home front and perhaps a denial situation when it comes to work. But there's a union, okay, and it has great possibilities for being long-term. So, Leo, you do have a position of advantage. So if people need to get out of your way in September, you need to be like, get out of my way. <laughs> get out of my way. Get out of my relationship. Get out of my house. <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> and Leo, you have to quit putting the blinders on in a certain situation because it's not going to change. It's just progressively going to get worse and spoil the potentials, especially for this particular union or especially for if you're wanting to create, especially if you're wanting to do something in the home or rebuild the home, etc., the focus is very much on the home. So good luck to you, Leo. Your reading was very interesting. Keep me posted. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out my social media links in the description box below. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, check out my website. I send all of you much love, many blessings, and peace. And I'll speak to you soon.